Welcome to the week two briefing video for market research. This week it's two chapters. If you could read chapters two and three before the lecture, that would be good. As part of the reading of the chapters, what I'd like you to do this week is have a look at how the chapters are structured. And in particular, what I want you to pay attention to is the way that there are examples and case studies embedded in the chapters this week. Uh, in particular, what I want you to focus on is when you read the real research sections, the little uh, micro cases, vignettes, where there are questions, I want you to look at those questions and just think through an answer. You don't have to write anything down, you don't have to take any notes. Just think about an answer, think about a response. This will be practice for both the perusal of forthcoming exams at the end of the semester and also the ability to interpret, think, read, react. When you come up to the project research vignettes, which have questions attached to them, what I'd like you to do is go that one step further. It's this time a case of read, understand the context, how it fits together into the chapter, and take some notes. Jot down a couple of dot points, maybe a short one, two sentence answer, but respond to the questions in writing. Now I'm not going to ask you to submit these responses, I'm not going to see these responses. Basically, what I'm asking you to do is a practice drill, a training exercise for you. And I'm going to do this on good faith. I'm going to assume that you're going to do this, and I'm not going to chase you up or check in on you on this particular aspect. So from here on in, as you're reading the chapters, when you come across the real research, think it through. When you come across the project research, take some notes, make some notes, jot down some answers. In addition, there's a discussion question which will be in the PowerPoint slides and on the course blog. And I'd like you to have a look at that question, start thinking about an answer, and be ready to talk about it when we hit the lecture on Friday. A couple of administrative things to point out this week. Uh, the first thing is, there are two versions of the textbook that you can acquire. One has a copy of the SPSS software, one does not. The copy that's at the bookstore has the software. Uh, it's probably the cheapest you're ever going to be able to lay your hands on a copy of SPSS. Now, SPSS is a quantitative statistical package. It is available in the computer labs on the ANU campus. So, if you don't think it'll be valuable to you, I'm quite happy for you to go off and get the cheaper version of the text online. Just make certain you get the same edition as the one I'm using, or else your chapter questions will get a little complicated and possibly wrong. Secondly, the tutorials will be launched, the ETA will be open this week. We do not start tutorials until week three. Uh, you'll note that there are no tutorial names, no tutor names assigned to any of the tutorials other than the Tuesday class, which is my class. For the Tuesday class, for anyone who volunteers for that shift, I will be using you a bit of, as a beta test group. Uh, you'll be the first people I will see in the week so I can find out if there's any problems with the video, if I wasn't clear about anything, if I need to add any additional information to the course. So if you feel up to that responsibility, sign up for that tut. The tutes are voluntary. The tutorial questions, the tutorial kits are compulsory. You don't have to come to the tutorial to be able to submit those assessment items. If you don't want to participate, you don't want to be part of this, then look, I'm okay with you going somewhere else and doing something else with that hour. So long as you put that extra hour back into the subject somewhere, in your personal time, I'm okay. I'd rather have a small group of excited to be there, enthusiastic people who've done the preparation, than a large group of people who don't want to be in the room. So keep that in mind, make your call, whatever you think is going to best suit your learning style. You may have noticed that there's not a lot of stuff up on the Waddle site, particularly if you're in one of my other subjects that I've done the course creation for, which is either intro to marketing or social marketing, you'll note that the site's still a bit uh, barren, a bit sparse. This is because we didn't get to build an iterative design based on last year's course, and the fact that I took it upon myself to knock the entire subject down and start again. 
What this means for you is that we are still open to feedback and suggestions. And one of the things I'd like you to do is I'd like you to look at chapter three, problem question two. I don't want you to answer this question. I want you to look at the type of question, the nature of the question, and then say, give me some feedback. Tell me whether you like this type of question, whether you'd like to do this sort of question in class, or whether you'd like to avoid this type of question. The other aspect of this course is that we were in a major discussion last week with a couple of lecturers from other parts of the College of Business and Economics about how we're going to integrate some of the qualitative technique and some of the qualitative elements to the course and how we're going to structure some of the tutorial activities and exercises. So we are working around the clock to build and rebuild, to give you a subject that hopefully you'll enjoy and you'll learn from it.